Okay, I'm going to log into the VM with the username that I set up during the install, uh, pi. And then I'm going to type in my password that I set up during the install. Okay, first step here is let's make sure that this VM has connectivity on the network. So we can run the command IP uh, A or IP ADDR, IP address, and that's going to show us the IP address we have right now. And it looks like we do have an IP address on this network. In the case that we didn't have an IP address, what, what we can do is go into a little program here called NM2E. So let me jump in there, NMTUI. Okay, and from here you can edit or activate, deactivate your interfaces. Uh, so as you can see, this one's activated, but if, it, if, you did, if you had any kind of issues where you did that IP adder command and you didn't see an address, this is where you would come in. First thing I would do is, is verify that your interface is active. If it's not, go ahead and click on activate and then quit. Uh, go back and then uh, do the IP adder command again to make sure you do have a IP address. So to install Ansible, you first need to install the extra packages for Enterprise Linux. It's a community repository of non-standard packages. So the command to do that is sudo yum install epel dash release. So let's do that. Then let's install Ansible with the command sudo yum install dash y Ansible. All right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So if you look closely, you can see that it is installing uh, some pretty cool modules for Python. Uh, we got Paramico, Jinja2. Okay, and it's complete. So last and final step here, what we want to do is verify what version just got installed on our system. We can do that with the Ansible space dash dash version command. So what it's showing us here is that it installed Ansible 2.1.1, which is good. Uh, the network modules were officially released in 2.1. And you can also see the directory that was created uh, under Etsy. You can see Ansible, and it's referencing that Ansible config file. But I'm going to go over all three files that were created in that Ansible directory in another video.